Oh, we're back here. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. There's fucking worms in it. And Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die... The Whitehill soldiers always seem to be angry. And we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Might have a bit of a uh, spot of bother here. A bit of trouble. You know I what else? Think. No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fuck. Just so you know, for is anyone a bit younger watching this series, there is um, obviously a bit of language in it. A bit of um. A curse running with Walder Flay, and he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with a corpse. Just say is no. Forrest is a real first. shame about your leg, my lord. Who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. I won't. That'll fall otherwise. I'd rather be holding on to my sister than fall flat on my face in the mud. Oh, who's this? Morning. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you are gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Go on then, my lord. Move out the way. Because I'm, I am the L O O D. So you should fear me. Let's go. Let's go into the Great Hall. We've got a meeting to attend. It'll be over by the time I get in here. It's madness. You can't starve I them out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick, my boy. Oh, mom. <laughs> Come join Don't us. Be calling me that around all the men, all my friends. <laughs> Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Straight and to you business. Know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool. My lords, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole. Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. 
How she's hell of a Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting their stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Give them wine. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Now, there's nothing more to discuss. Maester. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan? How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Okay, so obviously we have a bit of still a bit of trouble there, but we're it's working on it. Ridiculous. We're working on it. If All right, mirror the flowers, again. It's the food or the table settings. All the pretty girls. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment. Ah, very nice. Good choice, good choice. And the seal. Here you are. Ooh, I get to do the seal. Hooray. Oh, no, I don't. Ah, I thought I was going to get to press the button. Oh, I'm dying to press the button. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. 
It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. He's a bit of a I charmer. Mira, I'm not we'll too talk sure. More later. All right, peace out. Thanks for the help, Matt. What do I do now? If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Forge a letter to Elena Glenmore. Finish letter to Sir Maynard. Ooh. Which one should we do? If I write the letter and I don't finish the other. If I write one letter and don't finish the other one, then yeah, they're gonna know. Hmm. I don't know which one to do. Shall we go safe or shall we go risky? Will I risk it for a biscuit? We'll finish the letter. I'm not risking it. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby... It's just in case, you never know. I don't. We don't want Mira, all the characters to die. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. <sighs> The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Why couldn't we just or do, like, finish the letter war? plus write the other letter? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. I'm thinking now, should I have played it risky? If you don't mind. What about? Well... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've those? got them. But yeah, I think she could have took the lot herself. There are only a couple of letters, like. Not like she's carrying a. I don't know. Carrying like a stack of books or something like that. Oh, here we go. Back at the wall. Oi, fuckhead. <laughs> you might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive <laughs> in the night's watch. I just told them to Thomas. F off. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 no. years ago. And I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrom are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes? What are you talking about? I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, 
My sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. John. I need a word. Yo, John, over here. Go What's on, the story, get John? Started. Cue the Rocky music. Du, 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 du. Du, du, du. <laughs> right, let's see what we gotta do, boys. I'll have a good go. Carry a barrel, alright. Ooh, it looks a bit difficult. Here we go. Bit of sword practice. Bam bam. Ooh. Archery. Wait, let's go do something. We don't need to look at stuff. Um, let's do the barrel thing first. Where's the barrels? Yeah, let's do the barrels first. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Want some help? Well, get out of the heavy. Look at this dude, right up on his shoulder. He could probably take two or three. He could now, nah, maybe two. I'm gonna give it a go though. I'm a bit small, so don't expect much. Help me, we. This is a heavy barrel. Ah, here. Quick, pick it up. Oh, Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Nearly didn't get it there. You completed the strength challenge. You. you can help Frostfinger wash his cock. <laughs> if the thing isn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Ooh, Holding bit of competition. Breath, brother. Wash Frost Fingers cock. Nah, I'm alright actually. <laughs> I don't fancy it to be honest. Right, we shall do mm, sword training. Oh wait, I pressed the wrong one. Never mind, we're doing the doing archery. Wrong. But we don't have these where I <laughs> <laughs> I shot himself in the foot, the dick. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes.
One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Not quite. Perfection. Bam, bam, bada bing, bing, bing. Right, onto the sword fighting. Hopefully. Even though this Finn dick's already shot his own foot. <sighs> a real wild Friends you gotta make in this game, man. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, alright? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. A new one can trust you. Onto a bit of a sword practicing. You grab a practice sword. Um, can I pick anyone? Ooh, red. Oh, we'll have this the black one. Do. Oh, I was gonna go red, but I'll be eh. sparring with you today. Ooh, come on in, bring Remember, it on, big boy. Blades are dulled, Let's have you. Sword still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well, four. Yeah. <laughs> Get off me, you bloody ups. You got lucky. I think I should be considered for a ranger <laughs> position, if you don't mind. I think I done pretty good there. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If what someone now, asks, buddy? I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and it was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, Dawn. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Him, do something. Just calm down. Fight. It. Oh! I won't say it again. Step the f up. fuck. Hey, look. Fight. Fight! Yeah, get there they go again. Get off! What is going on here? Stole my and uh, for any of you no, guys that like watching my UFC videos and streams, that was a bit of a <laughs> Games of Thrones meets UFC. <laughs> bit of ground and pound. You must have hit it. <laughs> and you, I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me.
This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who having a bit of a party, are we? Stopped. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. I wouldn't say that. No, you don't be hogging it, give us up. A little won't hurt. Yeah, I'll have some of that. No refusal. <laughs> <sighs> so, I uh Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. No. You're right. I'm sure I would want to look after my family, too. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. Oh shit, my lord. we got caught yes. red handed. <laughs> what have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? Oops. Got red handed. Not the finest arbor red. But a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. 
If Cersei knew you had this wine, she drowned you in. Fell. It was just in a bush. Someone dropped it. Especially if you wish to have We found it. It's a bit of luck, actually. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords... You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. Ooh. <laughs> She's still chugging it. Go on, love. Chug the lot. Before someone else catches it, because you're just out in the open, We've like. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really, Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to... Not sure I want to... Uh... I Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss? You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill. Peace will out, man. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. <laughs> Tyrion. Just stare him down. Give him the eyes. Hey Do let me know when you've come to <laughs> I see your soul. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. I'm not sure if I picked the right options there, but the timer was going pretty fast, so I thought I would um I don't know. Maybe I would change my mind if I'd done it again, but My Lord. We'll have to roll with what we pick. Let's do it. I assume you have a proposition? had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain you. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. What's that? The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I just asked you for an open favor, and you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. You're either very brave or very foolish. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. Oh, maybe I this picked the wrong one there. Very good for I'm not too sure. It's hard to know in these games you. whether you're picking the right one or the wrong for one. Your sake. I hope it's the former. I'm smart. Just thought I would say it, just so to show a bit of confidence. My lady. The pr 
pressures of family. Getting a couple of trophies, that's good. Oh, we're back here now. What's gonna happen? We're kind of on the run at the minute. They are scouring the place, searching high and low. But will they find us? I don't know. <laughs> oh, here you got caught. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You coming with us then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell swords and a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell swords to hire, and all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Yunkai Hanoncho si vota con costoti da or! Margo! Polo! <laughs> Okay, don't get me wrong Just here, but like, we'll how later. did he not see Let's three go. of us standing behind them you did well back there, when they're, you can actually see through them? Like <laughs> I don't you know, but we'll go with it. Later. We'll we go with it. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. <laughs> 